In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to validate XML using Visual Studio Code. And I have Visual Studio Code installed, but I'm on a clean Windows machine that does not have the Java Development Kit, and I'm going to walk through that process. You'll notice here I have uh, just any old XML file open, and it does include a namespace schema up top, and it's pointing to a file that's located on uh, GitHub. So before I install the Java Development Kit, I can tell that I don't have uh, a validation working properly, because if I start a new line and go to open an angle bracket, I get no suggestions of what I can put there, and I'm going to type control space, and I'm just getting an assortment of suggestions that can go here. It's not actually reading that rule file properly and telling me what the um, suggestions are. I can also take the project type here, And if I retype hello world as my tag name and then save the file, you'll see that I'm not getting any problems down here on my problems tab. And it totally allowed me to do that. That is not a valid tag in this rule set. And so I should be warned that that's a problem. Um, so I know at this point that even though I have Visual Studio code installed and I have the XML uh, Red Hat tools installed, because I don't have the Java development kit, uh, it's not validating properly. In the marketplace, uh, clicking this button here on the left, I can see that I do have the Red Hat uh, XML tools installed. But if I scroll down and look at the uh, requirements, uh, you need the JDK, the Java Development Kit 8 or newer installed. And in fact, if I reload, uh, if I reload Visual Studio Code here, it's going to come up, uh, it's going to notice that I'm looking at an XML file and I have the Red Hat tools installed. And down here, it's going to point out to get the Java development kit. So I'm going to click on that button. It's going to ask me to confirm they want to navigate out to the uh, site, the uh, Red Hat uh, website. Now, I've already signed in here. You do need an account to do this, unfortunately. Um, don't click the download button up here because that's just going to give you a zip file of the latest and greatest thing. I would strongly recommend for Windows users uh, getting a, an MSI file, which is an installer that will lead you through the process of uh, installing the JDK. If you download one of the zip files, it's just going to be a zip archive of all the binaries, etc., and you'll have to set up some environment variables to point to those. So just pick the latest and greatest 64-bit MSI for Windows. I'm going to click on that download, and then we'll go through the installation. So I've downloaded the file, uh, I put it in my downloads folder, and then I double click the file to run it. I'm just going to go through, accept the license agreement. I'm going to leave all these things uh, exactly as they are. I'm going to click install and let this go. So now I have the Java development kit installed. Uh, you do have to close down and completely restart Visual Studio Code. But uh, what I can do now when I uh, open an angle bracket is it's suggesting to me the tags that are relevant at this part of the file. So here at the top, I'm allowed a metadata tag. If I go inside metadata and open that angle, it's telling me that I'm allowed a meta tag. And so if I hit tab here, it's basically starting out a meta tag for me. It knows that the name is mandatory and it fills all of that in for me. That's extremely valuable. Um, and so I can close that if I put any other type of uh, tag in here. You'll see that down the bottom here, it's under the Problems tab. This window's not open. You can hit Control-J to close and open that window. Um, yeah, on the Problems tab, it's showing me uh, and describing to me the uh, problems I have, and it's underlining them in red. Another feature of the XML tools is that it can lay out your document for you. This can be really useful if you've got lots of nested tags and you don't know, you can't really see the indentation properly. Like I have here, I have a metadata tag that's not indented properly. And down here on line 17, I also have one that doesn't have a, a new line. It's uh, put on the same line as another meta tag. So I can just right click anywhere in the file, click format document or shift alt F and it will fix those things for me and lay, me out, lay out the file nicely.